This American Arms Channel original is brought to you by Warwolf Ordnance. For the most badass shotgun shells you've ever used, find them online at www.warwolfordnance.com. Welcome back to American Arms Channel, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Drake, and as you can tell by the title of the video, we've got another Warwolf Ordnance Special. Today, we're trying out their heavy hitter 10-gauge slug. Now, this is a bastard of a 3.5-inch magnum load. If you need to kill something heavy and dangerous with a 10-gauge, this is probably what you want to grab. Now, this is their heavy hitter slug. It's a 71 cal, and it is 790 grains. That's a touch over 1 and 3 quarter ounces. And unlike a foster slug, it actually has tail fins, which I believe they're saying are at about a three degree angle to help stabilize that slug. So what we're gonna do today to test the accuracy and the devastation on target is we're gonna confirm zero at 25, fire a three shot group at 50 to see what kind of accuracy we can get out of this browning running the factory improved cylinder choke. And then I've got a pretty cool ballistic target that we're gonna see how much drive and how much energy this slug has at about 15 yards. Let's get at it. As always, these come in a uh, protective package, very similar to what Ballistic Products sells. Um, it is an excellent package. You can see this one, if you get a little bit closer look, is a little torn up um, from shipping, but uh, the rounds are perfectly fine. It is a great blister pack, and Warwolf made a smart choice by packing their rounds in it. So what we're going to do, these are loaded in a Remington hull. Uh, we're going to take a look here and see what we get at 25 yards. I just want to confirm zero, and then we'll go out to 50. Now, I'm not taking precision rest, so if I can put it in a pie plate at 50 yards, basically a 12-inch target, I'm going to be pretty happy with that accuracy just off the bench with no rest. So I've got a fairly well-used leftover target sitting here on the range, but it's a pretty big hole. So I should be able to tell where it hits. We'll get the red dot adjusted if there are any adjustments needed, and then we'll shoot to 50. First shot I've ever fired of these heavy hitter slugs. Let's see where I'm gonna print. So, we had a little bit of weak ejection. These are very long hulls, but uh, my browning, since I've worked on it, is getting better and better. If we have any failures today, it's not the ammo, it's this thing. An Ithaca Mag-10 or an SP-10 will probably run great for you if you're using a semi-automatic, or if you want to take all the hassle out of it, shoot a double barrel or a single shot. But uh, let's go take a look at what we've got. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this giant hole was not here before. So it looks like we're dead center on. Ignore all this, this is from before me, it's just a leftover target on the range. Uh, so it looks like I can hold dead center and at 50 yards we'll be able to see what kind of accuracy we can get. Recoil wasn't that bad, so I'm not too worried about flinching. All right, so it looks like we're zeroed. We don't have to mess with our optic at all. So I'm gonna take three more of these bad boys here. And we're gonna load up and see if I can, one, get a good group down range and see if these have good enough accuracy for 50 yards, I think they're going to, but we'll find out out of this gun, your mileage may vary. This is just a data point, guys. Take a look at it and, um, you know, you gotta buy a box, try it in your gun, see if it works anyways. So even if it doesn't come out right, eh, might as well give them a try. They offer a lot and bring a lot to the table. I can tell you what, the dirt that jumped up behind that target, woof. I think we're gonna have fun with the ballistic target. But anyway, enough gabbing, let me get my ears in. One candlestick in the pipe, and two to follow it up. So, let's, uh, let's take aim at 50 yards and see what kind of accuracy I can get using the improved cylinder choke and the heavy hitter slug.
Well, I see one hit on my sticky target, and I see two big holes, two feet high and left and two feet low and left on the board. That's not so great. So I might, I might just go grab an ammo box to rest this off of because I feel like those two pulled shots were me. I might have jerked. Let's see. I don't feel like this would be that inaccurate of a load. However, it ran perfectly all three shots. So yay, the gold tent's working. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Well, as we can see, one, two, three. And that is the order that I saw those holes appear. So I know that's how she went. So that's not a great group. About minute of elephant. So I'm pretty sure those first two shots are me. And I calmed it down on the third. Let's put one more round rested with easy breathing and see if I can hit that pie plate again and at least make myself happy. And again, your mileage may vary. I need to do more testing with accuracy and have a better serious setup, maybe off of a lead sled. But these things are walloping this target. I mean, the rubber pad is moving. There's dirt flying up behind it. No doubt that these things have energy. Let's just see if this browning will put one more on that 12 inch target. All right guys, got my t-shirt for a soft pad, got an ammo can out of the truck to run. Um, can't find one hull, it pitched it somewhere. But I'm gonna try and pit the ace on this one. I'll feel better about it. And I will consider it that those two shots that were way the hell off were me. Um, again, if you're interested in these, I highly recommend just go ahead, go to warwolfordinance.com and buy yourself a box and try them out for yourself. You may like them, you may not, but if you really want uh, a slug that's gonna perform on target uh, with increased potential over a standard one three quarter ounce 10 gauge Foster slug, this is the pretty much the only thing on the market unless you're loading something special yourself or you're using a regular old round ball, which uh, also Warwolf offers a mega ball load, a 71 caliber mega ball, which is a straight up 71 cal round ball. So, ah, nit nats. Let's see if we can gas them away. But um, lots of option, guys. Let's see if I can put this one back on paper. This might hurt a little bit because of this position, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. That definitely pushed me around in that position. Kind of hurt, not going to lie. A lot of energy behind those. Woof! I got a lot more 10-gauge shooting to do today, too. So I might have to go get a pad or something put it on my shoulder. <laughs> but I don't know where that hit on the paper. It sounded like it went right through that target. So let's go check it out. All right, so we've got our three holes. And I absolutely heard target hit. So I think what's happened here is I've hit a little bit low and over here where this part of the rubber is torn up on this backer. So I think the real point of impact at 50 yards is down a little left with this gun and that choke, the improved cylinder. Um, but I know that I can hit dead center at 25, so that's what I'm gonna I'm going to be able to hit the target at 15. More testing is needed. I'll probably actually order a box from Warwolf myself and see if we can get better accuracy results on the paper at 50 yards to see how viable this is with my guns for hunting load. But you'll probably have better experience. Um, but I think it's going to group low left for this gun. I think that shot was pulled. But bigger target. We definitely get on paper. Again, guys, no holds bar. This is my result. But the shell is high quality. It's ejecting out of my brown and gold. It'll work great out of SP10s and Ithaca Mag 10s because they run every 10 gauge load great. It's factory. And it's definitely going to hit hard. A pump would be great. Or if you're running a, a fixed barrel, so like a side by side or a break action uh, single shot, you might get better results too. I don't know. This is what I'm getting. So this is what I'm presenting. We'll do more tests. We'll circle back to it get more of these in and see if we can really hone down on where this stuff's hitting and what kind of groups we can get. Let's move on to our ballistic target. So ladies and gentlemen, this right here 
brilliant sunlight coming down. Ah, here it is, the Redneck Ballistic Target. Now what we've got here is a bunch of water jugs, right? Well, not quite. We have a three quarter inch subfloor OSB. This is a particle board that's used in building houses. This is the floor you walk on. And that's a pretty heavy duty piece of wood right there. We've got three rows of one gallon milk jugs filled with water. We have a three quarter inch uh, birch plywood. This is pretty dense stuff here. So um, a nice backer. So we've got 18 inches from the OSB to the birch ply. And then we've got some catch behind it. I expect deflection, but if we punch through both, that's fantastic. I just wanna see what kind of energy we have, et cetera. And what I'm expecting is that we're gonna get blown up jug, blown up jug, rip jug, jugs thrown off the side, probably smashed into this and tearing it off because it's just held in by a few screws down here. But um, that's okay. It'll at least demonstrate what kind of energy. I mean, you gotta remember a gallon of, of water is about five pounds. So moving all this stuff away, shaking this stand. I mean, it, it's fairly solid for a redneck put together ballistics testing stand. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll find out. You guys are gonna get a first person view and this shot's gonna be taken at approximately 15 to 20 yards. All right, about 15 yards, heavy hitter slug into the redneck ballistic target. Let's see what kind of damage she can do. I would say that anything in North America that walks, <laughs> breathes fire, and has hard scales would probably be no match for the heavy hitter slug. I hit about three inches left of point of aim at 15, which explains our left impacts at 50 yards. So uh, I might burn through the rest of these today. I don't know. If I do, I'll post a notification on the page to show you the group that I get. But, oh my God, guys, we ripped through one, two, three, four, the birch plywood, and then all this back here, we sent flying. I mean, we've got dead water jugs everywhere. Just shredded. And it doesn't even look like it deviated and it carried on through. I'm gonna see if I can find this thing, and I, if I can, I'll put it at the end of the video, but wow. When you talk about deep penetration in high energy levels out of a shotgun, as advertised, guys, this is why I'm proud to say that War Wolf Ordnance through Donation of Ammo has sponsored American Arms Channel. I mean, this shit is awesome, pardon my French. Well guys, would you believe it? I found one of the slugs. Uh, I believe this was the one we shot into the ballistic target. It was just off and under. And man, that thing is smacked flat. But looks like it retained most of its weight. We can see those fins there on the back side. That's a heavy, heavy hunk of lead right there. And I'll tell you what, if you're able to get these things to print right, and I think this gun will do it, um, I think that these heavy hitter slugs are an amazing option for guys who want to hunt deer, boar, bear with their 10 gauge, and they want to use slug sh slugs instead of buckshot. So, um, you know, obviously, don't take the accuracy portion of this video into account. Your gun's going to do something different. Um, I think if I zero this, and maybe I pad myself or give myself a lead sled, I can find out how accurate this gun is with these. I'm not gonna do it out of the double barrel 10 because, well, uh, let's face it, that's not really a slug gun <laughs> or a gun that's optimized for slugs. And so, you know, all I have to say is, 
go give Warwolf Ordnance a look. All the products I'm testing for them right now, in my evaluation, hold a lot of value. For the 10 gauge, at least, there is nobody else on the market offering those shells. So if this is something you're interested in, I highly recommend you go give it a look. It's not going to be as cheap as the, or I should say, as lower cost as the federal one and three quarter ounce foster slugs, but you're getting a much higher quality product. You're getting a much more high accuracy potential with the slug design. It's heavier. It's going real fast, something like 1,700 feet per second. Crazy speeds, which is part of the reason why it's walloping me. <laughs> I'm trying to take a bench rest shot. Uh, but, you know, if you're interested in that, go give them a visit at warwolfordinance.com. I really appreciate them sponsoring the channel with some ammunition donation. And as always, guys, I'm going to show it to you as it is. Until next time, guys, God bless. Keep your powder dry. I'll see you in the next video.